welcome back to my channel. This is Raven. If you are new here, please go ahead and like and subscribe to see more planner videos. I have a plan with me video out every Sunday or Monday, kind of depending, but I try to have one out each week and if you are a current subscriber welcome back you guys hope you had an amazing week i had a great one after last week's fiasco <laughs> if you haven't seen my planner funk video check it out because i was so confused about my systems but now I feel so much better and I absolutely love how last week it turned out. You did see some sticker surgery slash transferring. So that was an experience to deal with. But we got through it. So this is last week's in my mini. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. And I was just using a kit from Plush Paperies. Okay, so this week I am planning February 18th to the 23rd, I believe, or 20. 24th to 24th, which I am super excited about. I will be using this very pretty kit from Very Jenny Co. I have never used any of her kits before. I'm pretty sure I purchased this during like a PBC sale or Ultimate Planner Girl sale, one of those. It's Valentine's themed. I actually got this last year, but when I order it during the sale, I think Valentine's already passed. So I didn't get a chance to actually use it. But this one is just so pretty. I love the pinks and the blues and this kind of like muted yellow. I just really like that. This box here says, find the beauty in every day. I love a quote box. So it's a full boxes. Here you have the scalloped heart checklist, some flags, weekly trackers, habit tracker. That's such a pretty, pretty weekend banner. It's very unique. You don't see that often. And I have some icon dots. Then here you have some script stickers, half boxes. I love my half boxes. And some scalloped quarter boxes. Here you have your sheet of headers and little things, as well as some more arrows or like flags but they're like longer I like those a lot and then here you have the bottom washi some washi strips and date covers and here you have the Umbre heart checklist that are like the full box style I like those a lot and more pattern scalloped um, stickers as well so this is a very very compact kit you get one two three six pages and I'm definitely gonna have some left over for sure so let's get to it Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is work into my note section. I'm going to white this out and lay down the quote box right here in this corner. Next, I'm gonna lay down some of this bottom washi right here just to cover up that white out that I used. I don't know if you guys can tell, but when I was doing my pre-planning notes on my half sheet, I actually got some pen on my paper. So I need to have to try to figure a way to cover that up. So I'm probably gonna lay this out right here along this line, then lay down my weekly mill tracker as well as the habit tracker, try to fit it on there. So we'll see how that looks. Okay everyone, so what I did was, let me zoom in a little bit so you can see. All I did was lay down some whiteout to cover up the note section. I did get some whiteout on the black line, so I went ahead and used my Paper Meat Flare in black, it is medium. I just went over it lightly to cover up the white that was left up from the white whiteout. And I laid on a This Week pink header as well as the Habit Tracker. I was gonna put down the Monday through Sunday um, weekly tracker but I knew if I put this one down my habit tracker would overlay 
this tracker as well as the quilt box and I didn't want to cover anything up so I decided I'm just gonna not put the Monday through Sunday tracker on the notes section. I have some space right here so I could put down a note or something that's gonna happen for this week that I need to get done. I'll just have to see about that. But right now the notes section looks good. We are gonna now go ahead and lay down the date covers and then the full boxes. Okay, that looks awesome. I'm laying on the weekend banner, which is kind of big for this planner, but I love how it looks. I just used my scissors to cut off a little bit of excess that was hanging on the side. Okay guys, I think we're gonna switch things up this week. I think we're gonna move the dates how they're the side here. I think I want them to go, instead of horizontally, I want them to go vertically. So let me do that real fast. Yep, these stickers come up so nicely. Perfect, okay. So I'm just gonna lay these down this way on its side versus Horizontally. I'm sorry that I switched it up on you guys. I have to do this every so often. I like to be creative. Here. I'm going to lay Tuesdays on this side. So it's going to alternate around. Okay, so now I'm laying on my full boxes. So the one I definitely want to use is the scroll one here. I'm not sure about the other ones. I might use them as well. I really like this flower one here. Okay, this one I want to lay up on Monday up here. Just up in the corner. I'm gonna get this full box here and cut it in half. I'm just gonna use my Cutter B scissors. Not cut in half, but cut at a diagonal. I'm gonna lay this one right here on Thursday. So I think this is all the full boxes I'm gonna put down for now, just because I, there's so much to this kit I wanna try to use up as much of it as I can and if I have extra room I'll go ahead and lay down the full box or two but I think this looks okay in regards to like decoration. I actually have an over the phone interview on Monday with an ABA company that I am very much interested in. I applied to them several times since I moved here for different positions and to me, this is like the ideal company I would love to work with. I was actually able to get a phone interview with them. So I think the first one's on Monday, and then I have another one later this week I have to schedule. And I know I just got a position with one ABA company, but this company I have just really been keeping my eyes on. I've heard a lot of great reviews from them, and I actually have a friend that used to work for this company in California, and I have heard nothing but like great things about it. So I really, really, really hope that I get this position. I feel bad for leaving the old one, but it's gonna be for a lot more pay and I think they'll take my qualifications a bit more seriously. I'm pretty excited about that, so I hope it goes well. So I have that, I have to work on my RBT modules, I need to clean my room, I need to actually put together the giveaway entry list 
for my YouTube giveaway. So unfortunately, my giveaway is closed. I am so sorry about that, but I am excited to see who our winner will be. I think I'll be selecting the winner on Tuesday. I'm gonna put down a two-day header at the top. I need to mark that I have my over the phone interview at 10 a.m. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this phone icon dot with a mini flag sticker on its side. Next, I'm gonna use a Peaceful Mind Design Girl laptop sticker to mark completing my RBT quiz two modules. Now I'm going to use a very cute design pencil sticker just to mark I need to make my giveaway list for my giveaway that's on my channel. That looks great. I'm going to zoom you guys in just a little bit so you guys can see that. And that's pretty much it for Monday. Now we'll move on to Tuesday. So the big thing I have for Tuesday is announcing my giveaway winner. So I'm gonna use a half box to go ahead and mark that. I'm gonna use this butterfly half box here. And I'm gonna use this 15 pearl sticker of this girl jumping. So I'm just put giveaway winner is, and then once I have who is the winner, I'll write in their name right here. So good luck to everyone. And I'm pretty sure when this video is up, the winner is gonna be announced. So congratulations to who the winner is. Yay, I wish I knew who you were. <laughs> I'll find out on Tuesday. <laughs> okay, and I know Tuesday is gonna be a cleaning day for me. I have a lot I need to clean. I've just been so lazy lately because like the weather has been more gloomy so I have not really focused much on the cleaning in our house so definitely need to work on that I'm gonna lay down I think I'm gonna go ahead and lay down oh they have a chore sticker so I'm gonna use this chores pink header right here and for my chores I really need to clean the kitchen my room for sure and my desk area because I started working on it last week but what I basically did was just put everything in a big pile so it looked neat but it wasn't clean so I need to focus on that. I think I'm going to use my slice tool and cut this into threes and I think that will fit right here. I'm gonna go ahead and use one of these stickers from Let's Planet. I think the character's name is Ellie. I'm not 100% sure, but I think it is. I'm just gonna use this one up here. So on Wednesday, my module three RBT quiz is due. My demo hours were canceled because it is a snow day. So I'm gonna mark that down for Wednesday. I definitely have to reply to some emails. And Wednesday, Brian and I wanted to watch this new show called The Umbrella Academy. I think that's what it's called. My cousin told me about it. My brother, Brian's best friend, Zach, told us about it. So I think Wednesday, because we're both going to be home due to the snow day. Both of our jobs basically got canceled. So we're just probably going to stay in and binge watch this show. Hopefully it's good. And that's pretty much it. So I'm going to lay down a today header with one of these um, flags underneath it. So now I'm just going to go ahead and lay down this Coffee Monsters Co. Snow Emoji right here. So 
I have never experienced a snow day before where I didn't have to go to work or anything and that is pretty cool in my opinion. So I'm just going to go ahead and use a winking fluffy maru design sticker. What I am going to put down is one of these little things, TV stickers, just to mark that we're going to try to watch The Umbrella Company. So I'm going to lay down a scalloped heart checklist. For Thursday, I do have work. I have my comp exam and overlap with a BCBA. Um, I also should get my tax refund on Thursday as well. I just wanna... I'm going to use one of these Keurig stickers from Planner Frenzy just to mark that I need to or that I want to get coffee before I go into my work. I do know that the Umbrella Academy that me and Bryant want to see is like 10 episodes, each like an hour long. So we might watch that too Thursday night. So I'm just going to mark that down too. I'm going to use a yellow little things. So hey everyone, it's actually Monday now. My camera died on me while I was working on Saturday. So it is Monday afternoon. I finished my phone interview. I finished my RBT modules and I wanted to finish up this plan with me video before I work on my giveaway list. So I want to carry on <laughs> with where we left off at. Friday, some plans of mine changed. So Friday, I still have all these things going on, but I also have to do some demo hours I have to finish up to kind of make up for this Wednesday because the center is going to be closed at. So I'm going to lay down probably this yellow scalloped sticker. And this is when I also have my comprehensive exam. So we're moving it over because Wednesday the center is going to be closed and that's when I should have my final demo hours before my comprehensive exam. But because, again, because it snowed obviously, we have to reschedule my comprehensive exam to happen after my third demo hours. So those first parts will be my first demo hours and then this is going to be my comprehensive exam. So I'm going to move over to Wednesday. So I'm going to lay down one of these little things, probably maybe this kind of tealish blue little things. So because that's canceled, me and Bryant were talking and I think what we're going to try to do is go to Hobby Lobby. I, was, I really want to go because... I know that Hobby Lobby has been getting some of the newer items. So I wanna go to Hobby Lobby. We might go out for like dinner and then we really wanna go see Happy Death Day to You. We really been wanting to see that. So I'm just gonna mark that down. Okay, so now I have those changes in. I'm gonna go back to Saturday. So I'm sorry, you guys, but this is what I usually do whenever my plans change. For Saturday, I left off with having to lay down this Paperly Boutique laptop sticker to mark that I have to work on my letter of intent for a grant for school. Here, we've been watching the Umbrella Academy. Today's Monday and we already we're planning to watch a couple episodes tonight. So I probably want to mark that down that we want to start finishing up with that. Or I'm going to leave it blank just in case because I know that we're probably going to watch it 
the rest of this week as well and there's a chance that we might probably finish it so I'll leave that blank I do know that when I have my comprehensive exam on Friday I need to set up a time to take my RBT exam so I'm gonna leave a reminder for myself to go ahead and sign up for my RBT exam so because I never use this sheet I want to use the stick with me shop um, sheet here I'm gonna pull in one of these post-its with tofu the panda okay so that's all I really have going on for Saturday that I know that I need to do so let's move on to Sunday okay for Sunday I don't really know what else I have going on I put down the today header so I'm guessing I was gonna put some Thing here I'm not sure what I do know that I still need to work on my letter of intent so what I think I'm gonna do is go ahead and lay down a scalloped checklist what I'm gonna do is lay down a half box I'm gonna use a Kina Prince Girl Study sticker. She looks kind of angry. <laughs> and I also know for Sunday we have to get laundry done. So they have this laundry day sticker. It's pretty big, but I wanna use it. I'm gonna go ahead and try to fit in a little thing sticker right in here, cause I just don't want that space to be empty. I'm just gonna get my slice tool and cut off that little bit of excess. So this is it for my week. I think it came out so, so, so cute. I really, really love it. I feel super functional with this. So this was a great kit. I definitely recommend Very Jenny Co. The quality is pretty good. It is removable mats, which is what I purchased, and it definitely was removable. Um, I'm not sure if she does sell glossy on her shop. Definitely check it out if you prefer glossy over matte stickers, but I love matte. Her stickers are, I don't wanna say like they're thick, but if you do plan to use like a slice tool to kind of cut through um, a sticker, definitely have to apply a little bit more pressure than you would on any other type of kits. That's one thing I did notice about this. And again, it comes with a abundance of stickers. So I definitely have enough for leftovers again, which I am okay with. But yeah, thank you guys again so much for watching. I appreciate it. Go ahead and give it a like if you guys enjoyed it. Comment down below if you guys decided to go to like a Joann's or a Hobby Lobby or a Michael's, try to shop the new Happy Planner line. I definitely plan to. I'm very, very excited for this. So fingers crossed that they have some items and goodies for me. If I do find anything, even if it's like two items, I will go ahead and post the haul. Thank you guys again. Make sure to subscribe if you are a new viewer and you like what you're seeing. I really hope so. I hope you guys like it because I'm enjoying it. Okay, enough of my babbling. I'll see you guys next week. Have a wonderful one. Bye.